Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you about a nice little built-in function in Python called PyDoc. Now I'm taking a break from the more basic tutorials that I was having that I put in a list, well, putting into a list once they're all done, because this is something that will actually help you guys. And it's a little bit more intermediate, but it's not intermediate like Python, it's kind of like more intermediate uh, computer user stuff, I guess, because you do have to be able to find uh, certain files, but it's really, really nice because it. PyDoc, for those of you who don't know, which you probably just randomly found this video then, otherwise, I don't know why you're looking at it. But uh, PyDoc will basically tell you whatever you need to know, want to know, or can ever know about a function that's in Python. So, uh, there's two ways to do this. So, I'm going to open up Idle to show you guys this after I show you the uh, more common way. Because a lot of people don't use the interpreter for this. So, yeah, just get your Python shell or idle or whatever you're using ready. Then, go into your computer, find this little thing here, C disk drive. Scroll down until you find out what uh, your Python folder is. Make sure you know what kind it is. If it's Python 27, then that means Python 2.7. Just remember how to spell that exactly every underscore capitalization number make sure you know how to spell it correctly go in here then go into the lib folder capital L I B go in here and scroll down until you can find PyDoc now the reason you're doing this is because you need to find out where PyDoc is located before you actually use it and as you see here we found PyDoc so there we go now if you look up here you'll see it's C colon Python 27 lib now that we know that, you're going to open up your command prompt. And we'll close this just because we don't need that anymore. So with your command prompt, what you're going to do is type in Python space and then capital C colon oops colon uh, backslash and then capital P and then Python 27 in my case backslash capital L I B backslash and then pydoc dot pi space and then what and then what you want to look up. So let's say that we want to look up what the um, what's a nice little module to look up. Well, here, here's something that's more common. We'll just look up the uh, math uh, module. So after everything's typed in, you do your space after the end of it, and then math. Press enter, and magic happens. Boom. Everything about math uh, in the module has been returned to you. So you scroll all the way up here, and then you'll see it. It says, OK, so the name of the math module is math. The file type, it's built in. Description, this module is always available. It, can, it provides access to the mathematical functions defined by the C standard, because Python is written in C, unless you're using Jython or PyPy or something like that. And then here are the functions of it. You have um, a cos with x, all the other stuff, the really like more uh, trigonomical and calculus thick. I don't know how to kind of make that into an adverb, but anyway, I mean adjective, not an adverb. But yeah, so the higher up mathematical things. Uh, there's geometry in here. There's just basic math. There's um, algebra, everything pretty much in there, and it explains to you how to use it. Tells you all the other little stuff that it can do, logarithms, algorithms, blah blah blah, um, and then it even gives you uh, the value of e, pi, and all that other neat stuff. So basically, everything you need to know, want to know, or ever will know about the math module is right here. So I told you there's two ways to do that. There's uh, the Python shell that you can use to do this as well, but um, I don't like this one as much. I just I don't know, just don't like it that much. What a lot of people do is they go import and then pydoc. Oops, what the? Oh, okay. Oops, misspelled that. My computer like lagged and it didn't show me anything that was typed. Okay, so then you just press enter and you've imported pydoc. Now. Um, 
what you can do is a whole bunch of functions with it, but you can't actually use PyDoc. So a lot of people just go PyDoc and then they try to put whatever's in there. But that doesn't really work. So what you want to do instead is go import PyDoc, or not, you don't even really have to do that, and then just help. Then in here, you uh, make your, uh, what are they called, parentheses with quotations inside and then whatever you want to look up so we can look up oops, math just like we did before and the parentheses enter and you'll get the exact same information so yeah that's pretty much it you can also do a lot of other stuff with PyDoc that I'm not going to go over right now and if you want to look at what I'm talking about just go to help and then PyDoc because PyDoc is not only used for um, like you don't just type it in and then find out what it is you like if you go in here and do hi doc like that it'll tell you all about it and you can actually have it print out HTML documents with the information inside of it or text or whatever so yeah it's a nice little thing to research on and you know, if you find something in programming when you're trying to learn Python and you just don't understand it this is the best way to go about it so thank you guys for watching. Please comment with any questions or comments that you may have. Like the video if you liked it. And of course, subscribe for future videos. And that way you don't have to just keep looking them up on your own. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll be sure to see you guys later.